Yeah. Hello everybody and welcome to Tentalica, a 260 TV advantage against Dark Elves. Oh shit, it's Price. Oh baby. So he's going to have a wizard and he's got he's not only got a wizard, he's also got a clue, which is a more powerful um <laughs> a more powerful thing than a wizard. He's got loads of bludge, 1 2 3 4 5 6 5 bludge, 2 dodge. He hasn't gone the Sam Davies route of wrestle on his witch. Um, diamond sidestep, diamond tackle. He's got a stripper. Tackle, leap, agility. Pretty fucking good. Um, he's got a pom blitzer. Holy shit. Pom tackle, jump up, dodge blitzer. Another sidestepper, dodge guard. So he's got a pretty nice team. But hopefully. And this, and this fucking beast man. <laughs> well, he would have still put in money for a wizard. Um, winning coming. No, I don't think this will be. This could. This could definitely. Um, this could. De he could definitely win this, can't he? I mean, he's gonna. He's gonna have a wizard, but he has only got eleven players, so, you know. Oh, I mean, yeah, of course he's beatable, Magia can. But um, the point is, yeah, it probably is worth buying a beast at this point. Yeah, because you're giving away a wizard most games anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree actually now, as are wrong. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, he's certainly beatable, of course. He's not he's not superhuman or anything, but he's certainly he's certainly better than the average Cole Scrubs by by a country mile, isn't he? <laughs> I don't think people would snipe two hundred and fifty TV that no one would no one would deliberately play this team, would they? <laughs> I mean I know I've only got one claw bomber, but still. I I didn't I forgot to look at the uh, record. Shit. Right, sorry for cutting you off there in the in the blood Bowl, in the GTA discussion, Fash, but I no got matched. So I think it's know. like seventeen oh two or something. Freeze. Mm, yeah. Right. So um, he is in chat. He is in chat. So hello, Price, and um, so please don't give anything away, Fash. If you if you think of an amazing play no. that like well, you can, I want to you know. go and play GTA, so I'm gonna give him everything I've got. All right. <laughs> and, um, oh man, I'm I'm looking forward to the GTA. I'm, I think I think I'm looking I'm looking forward to playing this. I like the stunt races, but they're so fucking horrible. The thing is, though, good races, races. Do, you can you can do them with non-contact now. So then they're, they're not just going to be a clusterfuck of like people getting smashed off the road. So you can yeah, set them stupid tunnels. My yeah. cars never stick to them. Yeah, but. At the end of the day, you know, you can look on the leaderboards and the fucking top, the top players win more at them. So they're still driving is still a, a big part of it. So oh, I can definitely. still improve my driving and uh, and make more money by and, and have more populated lobbies and everything. So, um, right. Very good. Right. I'm off anyway. Right, so I'll leave, it, I'll leave it in your cable hands, Mr. Fashbinder. Thank you very much. Tschüss. Tschüss. Uh, for the champ ladder. It is if you are good at Blood Bowl, uh, and you only play against people who are new at Blood Bowl, you qualify. So, for example, uh, if Jim wants to play Ducky at Even TV, uh, I think, uh, and play ten games each, uh, phrase, play ten games against each other. I think uh, both coaches are equal, and well, you know, could could win fifty percent of them, and it would be dice that determines who actually wins. Uh, both players would mitigate risk, both players would make safe two die blocks, and they both would take risks when they needed to and wouldn't when they didn't, and it would be a good game of Blood Bowl. And it really would be, you know, who did get the random cas or who did, uh, you know, get the most successful two dice blocks that just had the guy on the ground allowing you to book a seed. And that sort of thing. Uh, that would determine the outcome of the match. And the champ of Season 2 is all about who... And yes, yeah, so they're both equally capable of taking games of each other, and they're both equally capable in a, you know, in a final to win. But the qualifying format is, yeah, playing the most new players. And so while they might, might both, both be equal in terms of skill, um, their standing on the leaderboard would be determined by the quality of their opponent, not the quality of their player. So, for example, the guy who's currently number one, like a 19-0 Lizard, there is a Sunday nil chance he played a non worthwhile. He might have played one worthwhile coach and you know got lucky in that particular match, or not not got lucky but was more lucky. 
who knows but everyone that's currently in the top 20 would be able to beat him more than 50% of the time I dare say as I think I played against that guy and I was not radically impressed um yeah and so I mean that, that's why I left Kate for the ELO system so wouldn't it be nice if you could have you know yeah wins and losses counting but you then look at those wins and say, right, Jim won against, you know, Prees and, you know, Lupac and, you know, some other guy on the ladder. Whereas, oh, I know, we'll pick on DeMaster. Whereas DeMaster only played people who were level five coaches who have only played 10 matches of Blood Bowl 2 ever. And, uh, having that be the measurement system, I think, would be superior. However, that will never happen, as the Blood Bowl 2 devs have indicated that they want leaderboard placing, uh, placements to be one calculation based off win-loss draw. And so that's all we'll ever get for Bubble 2. Whereas when Jim and I do the Fashtastic League, uh, we could even make it a perpetual world. <laughs> to some extent, a perpetual league. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, I'm dumb. The lovely fuck Whimsy. Oh, the Whimsy shit. of Nuffle. The good what old the Whimsy fuck? of Nuffle. Brilliant. Magical. I'm so happy. There's your sure hands uh, to deal with that edgy five leap. Strength four sure hands. And, Holy fuck. And he's got an agility five strip. Uh, you know, leap. Uh, uh, absolutely hard counted by my ball carrier. And then I've probably I've probably got as much fucking fan factor as him as well. The only match that I've had a chance of losing today, basically, you know, in the last few times, one of the few games with a chance of losing. To so just have that is outrageous, isn't it? Yep. Completely fucking outrageous. Fuck this game. What? It just shouldn't. I should have got. I guess I should have got the. You know the. I guess I should have got the um, the stadium enhancement that got rid of it, but then I hate Pitch Invasion and, and the other thing as well, but... Oh my god. Ah, uh, yeah, look, if you just make every block, and every block is a pal for a Kaz, you'll be fine. Yeah, but it's, t it's asking a lot, isn't it? One, two, three, four... It is. Block blocked myself here for the Blitz. Might have to Blitz the worst player just so I can protect him. All right, well, I got a pretty good start apart from having my best player and basically auto-winning, well, auto-drawing the game with him, wasn't yep. it? Not auto-winning, but auto-drawing by having that ball carrier into not auto-drawing. <laughs> Fucking hell. What an absolute load of shit. I don't know if you ever get a blitz on the uh, edgy leap and your pommet. Yeah, there's a chance. Yeah. But no, it's definitely shit, man. No one, no one disputes that. It's unbelievable. Nothing I can do against it. Absolutely. I mean, look, you got a touchback. Look, the ball could have been back here. Like, so you, you can play around Rock a little bit by having two guys back, like, you know, next to each other. And then, so if you get a pitch invasion or a throw a rock, you've still got a guy back to get the ball. So, like, you know, I, you can say that I didn't, I didn't play the counter rock, but... Fucking hell, it's so stupid, isn't it? It's so stupid and shit and horrible that... Yeah, absolutely. Most teams could... only have one ball carrier, and yours is built to beat Agi 5 leap strip ball tackle. <laughs> yeah. And he's got exactly an Agi 5 leap strip ball tackle. <laughs> and look, I, I, I don't like four strength ball carriers, as I don't really respect the war dancer leaping to a cage, as it is, you know, risky dice. Yeah. Uh... But you did, and you paid the price for it, and did you know, the TV for the last you know thirty odd games, and for the one game you've actually needed, Throwrock took that away from you. Yeah. Twenty games worth of risk mitigation. Yeah. Feels bad, man. Unbelievable, unfucking believable. Right. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm going to turn it off and and try. You know, he's he's only it's only I think it was a badly hurt. I don't know if it was missed next game or not. I think it was just a badly hurt. It, it wasn't missed next game. I think it wasn't missed yeah. next game. All oh, right, brilliant. Um, no, <laughs> no. But still, 
still fuck me for this game anyway. Right. Yeah. Miss next game. Holy shit. So it's not only is it fucking me this game. That's the worst thing is that it could have been death. And not only is it fuck me this game, it fucks me for all the subsequent ones. I mean, it's it's so much worse than Pitch Invasion in a way. At least Pitch Invasion just loses you one game. Um, yeah, but, but the odds though to have the rocket best for all, strictly best for all, or match for all. Yeah. Outrageous. Outrageous. It's been one in twelve into a one in eleven. Yeah. Unbelievable. Anyway, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna really focus up now. Just like Michael okay. Bolton. So um be right back. I know Michael Bolton, he's the singer. Google us. All right, we'll be maybe for my singing later. I agree. It should absolutely be a KO at the worst. Or even just a stun, to be honest. Oh man, a wild meso appears. Alright, so things to note. Prees have protected both the Edgy and the Palmer. In fact, I recall from my game against Prees, he'd like to use the Witch in season one uh the diving tackle sidestep witch as uh, a fellow that marked the ball uh, i did have an edgy or a, or a two heads sure hands ball carrier and was able to dodge away i can't remember what happened in that game but i remember just being in the shit and having to do janky chaos passing plays yeah but i do remember there was lots of pressure from the witch tagging the carrier So the uh, Vengabus cage is formed, has guard on the right hand side, uh, edgy leap not really getting to the left hand side, and even then it would be red if it did leap through. So yes, uh, countering leap, this cage is special too. Wow, early bolt. Edgy 5 doesn't care, pick up on it. Already had one assist, the second assist not hard, the blitz hard. It's not oh and look even the the Agi doesn't really get out of the uh, disturbing presence. Oh it does. Oh, uh -oh spaghetti. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, dead person bullshit. Who would have thought? Yeah, and it made, it made his wizard more effective as well, because I had to do this cage, didn't I? If, I, if he didn't have the... If I had best faggots <coughs> with the ball, I could have just had well another player on the pitch and another guy, and I could have like you know made a big network around the ball instead of having to do this anti-leap cage. Looking hard. I absolutely hated that 4-plus pass. Absolutely hated it. Yeah. I thought it was disgusting. 
Uh, yeah, it should have just been the single GFI to be out of DP range and throwing to yeah. would then run seven, and once he's run seven, he's fairly uncontested for a yeah. guaranteed touchdown. Risking the four plus for the, for no reason. I hated that. Yeah, maybe he forgot about disturbing presence here. Maybe. Oh. Don't I mean I've lost. I mean I've just lost. Pretty much. Just lost. Oh well. At least at least at least it means I can play GTA and don't have to play. Don't have to play Blood Bowl <laughs> for the rest of the day. So that that's something. But, um right, never mind. Forever the optimist. Baby, I guess the next time for Breeze then is score early off stall. Uh, could stall for quite a few turns. I don't think the Poma or the Witch really need the SVP, so maybe the Dodge Lineman could look to get Block or Wrestle. Or perhaps to level up somewhere. Jim should probably pressure it just to make it happen sooner rather than later. Uh, Equalizes his own drive, and if he's done enough manage to turn over the, the opposing drive in the second half. So look, still, yeah, well, look, the, the turnover, it was a fairly unintested turnover, and best for goals uh, removal from the game, pretty bad. Uh, the game's not strictly over. It'll be over nine times out of ten, but it's not definitely over. They would have been nice. Yeah, but the games you turn around with random ship power, it's usually against people that aren't very good at blood ball. That give you chances that you aren't really entitled to. And the crazy is human, he's capable of a mistake, but he's not your average call shitter that you should you should never give up to your average call coach. As they're always gonna do something dumb, you know, the one day they shouldn't make or the first action minotaur. There'll always be something that they'll do to some to some extent. See what I see, said the frenzy pester god to the blitzer. Do you see what I see? Jim's gonna make that blitz, no doubt about it. A rumble pum pum, rumble pum. It's too late to change it. Oh, I can say it overtly now. I, was, I sat there and I saw it and I was like, oh man. But yeah, no, the uh, AG5 leap strip getting served. Jim will even re-roll it, I'm fairly confident. If he gets a Kaz on, on that Blitzer, on the surf, uh, his, his turnover and offensive drive then becomes a lot safer. Kaz is okay. It's not a surf or a Kaz that we were all hoping for there. Man, I would have been tempted to re-roll it, it would have been bad. Great, it's turn four, you need those three rolls. 
but man oh man. Oh yeah, no, I, I would much like uh, I would I would with eleven players and no bribe, I would foul a team's one core pommer. Uh, I would always foul an edgy five leap strip ball if I had no short hands. There are just some things that will cause you to outright lose the game, and uh, if a team only has one core pom, that and anything with a strip ball leap. Because it otherwise, you know, breaks the rules of Blood Bowl in, you know, screening and tackle zones in that it ignores it. Oh yeah, so for um, Fashtastic League, the first one definitely knock out just to get the format going and I guess advertise it. But I wouldn't even mind a perpetual ELO based version for the second that we can just have open invites. So a, a Discord for it, people organise their 1220 TV matches. Uh, you can play against anyone as many times as you want, team development might change. And we, I, I download a Wizards of the Coast you know, ranking system, and we use ELO to determine your assistances against other players and update that regularly, and we can have a perpetual 1100 or 1220 league uh, where everyone's playing for the win, and if you're farming shitters, you aren't rewarded as much. I think that would be cool. And then you just organize the, you just do the friendly match and then we'll... And I think that could be a cool way of doing it. So you've got a, a league with a decent format, with a decent ranking system. So, you know, a, a league where a death, something magical like that. Yeah, exactly, Jello. Uh, it'll be up to Jim, really. I I've been somewhat available sometimes. The, the, the initial line was just for the uh, eight man knockout. But having a a league like that could also be cool. And because there is probably going to be many people wanting, uh, having that open league, I guess, to you know, have people, I guess, earn their spot, maybe? I don't know. And because it's an ELO rating system, you aren't out because you've lost a match. You don't need to do any stupid undefeated streaks. Uh, playing games definitely will help, but similarly just playing a few games against good people would be good also. I mean, there, there'll still be some problems in people like min-maxing their ELO game. Uh, for example, they might only challenge people, like for example, if, if Jim started late and only had a 1400 ELO, I'd never want a 1400 ELO, because I know Jim's not a 1400 ELO coach, uh, so there'll be some some errors regardless that we fixed over time. Uh, to get it working in Blood Bowl 2, it would need coding. But for me to do it in Excel or a Wizards of the Coast Magic the Gathering program, where I just replace... There's no replacements, it's, it's just the same. You report the result of the match and gain ELO appropriately. Uh, the thing I really liked about the ELO system, but that would actually 
probably have to be done through Excel is either has a K value. So for example, League of Legends, your placement matches are worth more to your rating than the Latin matches. And that's the K value being altered. And I think for Blood Bowl, a similar sort of thing could happen where the difference in team value it affects the K value. So if you are down a shit ton, the K value is... Oh, they rephrase. If there's a huge gap in TV between teams, which won't matter in this particular league, but just for perpetual leagues in general with development. Uh, yeah, if you win a close match, you get more than uh, a close TV match. A high TV difference match, if that makes sense. Yeah, but that, that could be cool for Bubble too in a virtual matchmaking league. But for the Fashtastic, it's not me. Yeah, look, there are some kickoff events that are a good idea. Punishing certain setups. But that's really about it. And it does change the game a little bit, not to play around. Yeah, that sort of stuff. There's not many, there's not many kickoff events I like. There's not much stupid shit people can do that they don't do because of kickoff events. And so pretty did pretty well. Uh, turnover at the price to the wizard and only lost two elves. Still with the apple in hand. Agi Man kind of probably happy to stay off the field for the last uh, two turns. And Breeze did a good job stalling. In that he stole the ball in turn three, managed to stall till turn seven. Yeah, but what kickoff event really adds to the game? I mean, there are like weather changes are okay because it makes you play Blood Bowl differently when you absolutely can't do well, you can. But when your GFIs are 3 pluses rather than 2 pluses, it sort of changes things when you can't do the longer passes, not that you should be doing passes. Uh, pouring rain makes you a little more conservative to picking up the ball, even as an elf with sure hands. So, I mean, there are some nice elements that change how you might strategically play. But they're really insignificant compared to the randomness that they bring for no reason. So yeah, look, I would advocate for kill events removed in Fashtastic. Yeah, quick snap's nice. It punishes the early setup. Maybe we could just make a custom rule. Oh, so the other... Oh, nice. The other Fashtastic rule is you can't scum because of the format, you can scum money. Because everyone's the same TV. But it would be a nice way, uh, in, in a private league format, or a perpetual private league, to be able to just inf implement a rule saying, can't spend your inducement money. Cast here would be nice. Got the natural arm break. Yeah! Oh man, this could be good. If Jim can manage a two-turn score, which I don't think he can because his pesties are otherwise, because he's only got... Uh, well, actually, he bought the fourth. Oh, he, bought, he did buy Bash for God. Well, look, he could send Bucky for God down and a Rotter too. And then just get really, really lucky on some dice. Equalize the drive. Crease then down... Uh, I think if the uh, Blitzer stays out, down five. And Jimmy could turn him over. So just a couple more cows would be really nice. Yeah, I think so too, Grindle. It's definitely not going to be too under Jimmy. Well, no, it could be reference. It could be. If he scores this half, I like his chances. Yeah, but I, I said I said he still had a chance uh, turn one after the throw happened. 
Most of my burning was complete. Look at these Agi 3 Rotters getting their shit together. <gasps> Picked up the ball. Good work, Fanish for goal. Good work. Uh, Harry's a bit close. Wouldn't mind screening it. A 3 plus, 2 plus to 1B. Could be a bit sad. I mean, it sucks to DP a learner. Let's see. Let's take a minute to think about. Uh, Jimmy's just going to take care of it. Fair enough. I like it though, stopping the 3 plus 2 plus. Um, so look, lodge step line, I guess, in front. That'll be pretty hard to deal with. There's no tackle around, so you'd have to pow. Um, but a, if you look at it as a large Venga bus. But four scoring threats is a really good thing to have achieved. Ooh. Seems to be just screening. Oh, wow. This is actually a pretty easy touchdown in the grand scheme of things. I, I don't know about this defense. I think I would have full manned the last three. In a manner that you kept the sidestep on to be annoying. So Jim's got two options. One's the frenzy left side. Uh, so rephrase the handoff or throw. Ducky for gore. And then just ducky for gore two dies himself twice. And uh, runs it in. Uh, seeing the number 11 lineman with dodge. Similarly, guard warrior come along to hit to assist on the sidestepper. If the sidestepper gets a power, then it's just a blitz on the uh, witch elf for a push, and Dr. Vigor's in. Gets the power. And so now it's just a push on the witch, and uh, Ducky's in on a double GFI. Three plus double GFI with a reroll. Oh, baby. Yeah, I didn't like having Breeze. He was, he was short on men. And so when you're short on men, you say, all right, look, I, I cannot make a screen. Man's in them instead, then. Oh, come on. Don't do it, nothing. Oh, baby. Cunt! Oh! Wow. Seventy-seven percent of the time, that would have worked. Get banged on. <laughs> Horrible, innit? So Horrible. 1-1, one, one, with him down to six players, I'd have had a shot, wouldn't I? But... Yep. The night starts, baby, roll with us. The chicks are snapping at the neck, we're rolling up. But through the doors out, holding up. Black card at the bar, like a give a fuck. Lady shift the eyes when we walk into the set. Fuck the fellas looking jealous with black and get wet. Three pound in my waist, it's shanking my suck. You either get cut or you get stuffed and get shot. Now this is the tale of Jack, Captain Jack Sparrow. Pirate so brave on the seven seas. A mystical quest to the Isle of Tortuga. Raven locks way on the ocean breeze. Yeah, that was kind of weird, but we're back in the club. Buying up the bus so the group will show us love. Alright. Alright. <laughs> no, that was outstanding. Thank bomb. you very much, Fash, for that beautiful rendition of Jack Sparrow <laughs> by Michael Bolton. Featuring the Lonely oh, Island. No, it's probably the Lonely Island featuring Michael Bolton, but epic. I think so. That's so sad. You know, I'm disgusted. You had that. Fucking blood, though. Doing the most glorious recovery too, like yeah, you sort of got enough cans to be in for the turnover. 
Not really, but still sort of. Disturbing presence would allow you to stop the uh, chaos, uh, the shifty elves doing passes and rotates to outmaneuver your tackler. Uh, just through having so many men. Like the potential was there. I mean, you still got the draw. But every draw becomes a sadder and sadder affair when the win loss. Yeah, the draw I think is the end of is the end of the run. So like, I think that's the the small mercy at the end of it is that at least I don't need to play for another eight hours today. <laughs> don't need to stick play it till midnight. Um, oh god, that feels bad, man, doesn't it? I mean, just the yeah. immense RNG of the Rock on my best play. Like in this matchup, okay, he's he's kind of even with Mash Fagos because obviously if I lose my tackler, tackle claw pom, that's really bad. But one of my two, the, one of the two worst it could possibly hit, and then into the miss next game, failed regen, and then the steal, the stall. You know, if I could have made that fifty-five percent dodge to two dice his elf, you know that that yeah. wasn't that wasn't too bad. He he wasn't he wasn't in a great position if I'd made that, and then um, and then is is I think a bad defense as you said, I would have been yeah. tagging people with blood steppers and stuff and. Uh, and then you know, just couldn't fucking get the, couldn't get the equalizer. Seventy-seven point five percent for the score. Three plus two plus two. Yeah, that's two games. Two games. I've had a two plus, um, a two plus three plus two plus. Yeah, a three two two. I've had two games where I've needed it, and both times I failed. You know, which is I think I've been unlucky with this team overall, to be honest. Uh, but hopefully next season I'll um I'll get started earlier, and get a bit get a bit more luck and a bit more chances to get lucky as well. Because I did, I did hopefully leave myself. Hopefully, develop a node. Doesn't give us a shit format again. Yeah, hopefully. And I, I, I left myself a lot to do with the last second, which was, wasn't a great idea, was it? So, um, you should have done the fast approach and just not played. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's what I should have done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that's what I did for a lot of it. But um, and you know, I played loads of different teams and loads of low TV teams instead of just picking one and rolling with it. But um, you know, ne next season I think I'll start early. Get start early next season. And hopefully get a run going with Dark Elves. And uh, we'll see what happens. But right. Still got a shot here. I've just got to turn him over twice, haven't I? If I kill all his players, yeah. it's possible. <laughs> it is literally possible. Every block is a Kaz. Yeah, if every block's a Kaz, got a chance. So sad right now. Uh, it should begin on the fourth at midday, Paris time. Uh, Ruggy eighty two. No, I'd first have to find out what a fun major is. Uh, Squirrel dude, I imagine it's like the Wimbledon, but not. It'd be like the under 16s Wimbledon, in that, yeah, it's supposed to be a big deal, but no one cares. Too many cares. Yeah, but no, look, I, I like the idea. We just have eight man fan ta fashtastic. And uh, if it turns out to be really popular, which, you know, a lot of people seem very interested. Yeah, then have like a uh, turn it into a perpetual. Uh, Funny TV team. No stuff will never be invited.
But yeah, no, look, it definitely does gimp some teams. <laughs> Chaos with just a mighty blow beastman. A bit sad. Elves will dominate. Teams with starting skills will dominate. So I think here Jim's just got to be careful with his and not open a handoff or even a quick pass sh sort of shenanigans. Have it, have it heavily marked. And even then, turnovering over twice fairly unrealistic. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, stalling out and not scoring will be fine. For sure. Yeah, so regrettably, you want extra tackle zones to get the blodge guys on the right. A little more tied up. Tagging the carrier is good. So I guess uh, Fash for Gore left of the Witch. And uh, Mash for Gore is a pseudo sweeper. I know, he just gets rotated. Yeah, it's good making the uh, dodge a lot harder for the witch on the left. Uh, just so it's not out on a two plus to assist to make down ducky. Oh. oh man, imagine a snake. That was a GFI. Oh man. See, it's a pretty easy game to lose. Jimmy can play a lot riskier with, you know, GFIs and Warriors to go places. Oh, uh, yeah, but with Priest having the game to lose. Uh, probably doesn't want to make those risks. Oh, man. So clear the path for the witch to dodge out to screen out the carrier. To make the frenzy blitz not happen. Uh, 
I think just being relevant with the frenzy might be the way, and even just the pomblets. Taking out a, uh, a dodging sidestep might be all right. I mean, the win really is out of the question as you can equalize in the first half. But if you can stop this rotating and uh, dodging and have the screen, uh, the screening become more and more difficult, having two open men in the backfield to go places might be nice. Yeah, definitely those dodge sequences were uh, on par with Jim's not scoring play on the uh, end of turn 8. In terms of risk. How the witch? Kind of almost didn't want the power, as uh, the pommers then out of position. If the number six puts a three plus two pluses and potatoes. Sad day when you can't uh, call pom blitz. Yeah, so taking the rod blitz instead. Fair enough. Yeah, if you can make one in nines happen, I think that's worthwhile. Because a one in nine is easy to fail. Well, a one in nine is more likely than a one in 36 by a substantial margin. So the thicker tackle zones to make the three plus dodge happen, definitely worthwhile. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, so maybe that rot of blitz uh, just wasn't worth it on the dodge lineman. It was just stuck in, wouldn't have been able to dodge out. The learner would have uh, not been able to tag. Smash for goals, maybe. And look, elves when everything, every dodge worked, pretty please. Maybe just uh, blitzing the witch and 
attempting to box him in. Uh, Agi Blitz is still moving. Save. Same time, sir. Yeah, look, it's likely that I'll just all dodge again. And this for the first turn of the half, it'll be the uh, two cost dodges. Yeah, it was brutal not because not only did I not get that touchdown, if it's 1-1, one, one, he's got to try and score, hasn't he? Whereas now he can just dick around for the whole half and he's not even... He doesn't even have to try and score. Like he probably will score in the end, because he's managed to rotate around. But he didn't have to, did he? So it's no. just, just horrible. And if he scores at any time, he knows he's won, so he can he can do a crazy like you know playing with really no no risk at all. He can score at any mm -hmm. time. That was the thing, you know. Like at least if a, if I had scored and he scored early, he could still draw. Whereas now, he can just he could score early. It gives him it opens up everything for him, doesn't it? But, um, you know, yeah. right, well, got a chance. A surprisingly yeah, big the, chance here, isn't it? <laughs> not the most difficult dodge, is it? No. Fifty-five percent away from glory. Oh, it's uh, turn thirteen. Uh, Mega. No, oh, never lucky. Double five on the armor. That's twice he's given me a fifty-five percent to get the ball, isn't it? Stop his scores, and you know maybe I should have moved these guys first and stuff. But I felt that a, a loss is as the same as the draw. So you know, go for go for glory. If I get the power there, we'll get the push, and the ball comes in. I want several people to protect it, don't I? Now he fails something. Oh, no, no, it's tackled. He doesn't really failed yet. Um, yeah, not a lot I could do. I don't think. Nope. Yeah, look, we said there was a, you know, 1 in 10 chance after that, guys, that she, uh, you could still pull away with it, and the stats remain true, I guess.
That, that's the thing. There's no chance of a win now. Like, if I was trying to draw, maybe I'd have played differently and not gone for that or whatever. It was it was so hard to try to play for the win now, isn't it? Ridiculous. Really. Yeah, for sure. So um, I'm just gonna try and kill his best player. For the old spike kill. No one injury. Oh, wow. Didn't see what happened. No long term effect on A31. Oh, what the fuck? That was crazy. There just wasn't like a, a thing on my screen. I just can't get around the back, can I? It's so slow. So, that, you know, that was kind of why I wanted the beast, the beast man, not the beast of Nurgle, but the Pestigore. It does like let you um, get that bit of movement, yeah. doesn't it? To, um, to react. More people that can deal with seven move blitzes, um, humans and elves. Yeah. Yeah, this game does indeed. But I mean, also, it wasn't just the elves being better, it was the outrageous kickoff re result was just lost the game turn one, basically, didn't it? Barring, barring ridiculous um, dice or ridiculous bad play or ridiculous. Good play. Well, I can't really play well. I can't really make ridiculously good plays because it's just make two dice blocks. That's all you can do as bash teams, isn't it? So, in that regard, yeah, they are just definitely. L teams are just definitely better. It's hard to outplay somebody with a bash team, isn't it? You've just got to do everything. You know, do all your safe blocks and everything and just play solidly. It's hard to really. You can do some, like, fancy chain pushes or whatever, and you can, like, you can defend better than other people or whatever, play a bit riskier or a bit safer. But there's really you can't really make mad players, can you? Um, as a bash teams, I don't think anyway. Whereas elves can like, and he didn't really do anything amazing, did he? He just rotated around and dodged out on twos and sometimes threes, and didn't roll double ones. Yeah, look, there's 120 odd universes, and uh, best of all, didn't get that rock thrown at him. <laughs> and then there are four other universes where you scored on turn eight. Yeah, at least 75 percent. Uh, the score play. Yeah, yeah. So it could it could have definitely gone differently on another day, but what can you do? That rock was just brutal because it changed the whole offense. If I didn't have that rock, I would have just made a massive network of tackle zones around the ball to make the wizard recovery harder. Um, so you know it affected it in that way as well as as well as other ways. But um, yeah, well, at least at least yeah. it's, at least it's over. <laughs> Scattered to the left would have been pretty impossible too to recover. Yeah, yeah, true, true. We had a nice. Um, it was just badly hurt. It was weird though the way it went, went so fast, didn't it? But yeah, at least at least I at least I can stop playing for the day. <laughs> just um, just Get play some GTA. Some, just play some GTA. Yeah, that is the plan. Um, I didn't realise his witch was on the line if I did it, but. Yeah, it would have been a better game without the rock, definitely. Well, or never mind a better game, just a game. <laughs> it wasn't even a game, was it, really, that TBH? It's just brutal. But yeah, it could have been a better scatter as well, you're right. That, if it had been a better scatter for me, then... Um, if you just hadn't recovered from that wizard, then there would have still been a chance as well. Got plenty yeah, for of, sure. Plenty of assist for this foul here. <laughs> Doing ducky a solid. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a sidestep one for some reason. Yes, Gruel do. There is a stadium event to mitigate this look. However, if you take that one, then you don't have the one that mitigates Riot and Pitch Invasion, which is, you know, obviously much more likely to have an effect, having Riot and Pitch Invasion. One that cancels two is better than one that cancels one, isn't it? So, it's pretty hard to fucking... It's a, it's a shitty cop-out. Oh, shit, that was the Lone Raphael. Bollocks. <laughs> That's not what I want. 
<laughs> That's what a crap spike foul. I don't care if I injure this guy. God damn it. Oh, well, badly hurt anyway. <sighs> I'm sure Price didn't snipe, though. Um... Yeah. yeah, well, what kind of madman would snipe someone that knows how to play rock ball in this format when you can play someone that doesn't know how to play rock ball? Yeah. All ah, right, yeah, fair enough, VIP Squirrel, dude. Yeah, that that was that was that was that was thing. Yeah, that is. Ah, yeah, I didn't see the second sentence you wrote, Squirrel, dude. Yeah, VIP Squirrel, dude. Um, yeah, it was. That's the thing, isn't it? It's so fucking. Yeah, Price wants to qualify. No way did he snipe this. No way did he snipe this because, um, you know, it's his team could have got slaughtered, couldn't it? Even if he thought he had a good chance to win, um, you know, which he, he, I don't think he would have done. Uh, yeah, I don't think you would, anybody would snipe this team. Um, <laughs> I thought about sniping it, to be yeah. honest. I had my noble team open. I saw that it had, uh, you know, block on a couple of people, and that was it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So Price <laughs> said he picked right pitch inversion on this stadium. I did too, so it didn't matter who's at home. I didn't realize there was another turn. I could have got a consolation touchdown. Oh, well. Um, yeah. So, like, what was I going to say then? I've got no idea now. Um, yeah. Right. Um, yeah, that was that. Yeah, that's it. So I was, I wasn't. I, I was maybe sounded aggressive to scroll through there. I didn't mean to be. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's you know that's the thing. It's shit because you can only choose one stadium. If you could choose multiple improvements, and so you could you could deny the. I'll just take a skull here. Um, so you, <laughs> so if you could if you could deny the um if you could deny riot and pitch invasion and throw a rock but um you just can't can you so i think yeah pitch invasion ruins the game for you you can easily ruin your game if if you're on offense and you have three or four players pitch invasion you're absolutely fucked aren't you that's much more likely to happen than your best player dying to a rock um and so you know that that's why I went for that, and then obviously the riot can can just cost you a game, especially as a bash team. I I don't think it's such so so good to have it on an elf team because an elf team it, it can give you a chance against a bash team that you know would have normally drawn or won against you. You can get the you can get the win of the draw if you get the riot. So I'm not sure I'd want that one again. And also the pitch invasion really screws bash more than agility because if like three players of each side are knocked down, the agility can still do stuff, whereas the bash team can't really do a whole lot. So I don't think it's as good for agility teams, but it's still good, isn't it? Obviously, you don't want that bullshit look affecting you. And, um, yeah, the rules do need changing for a long time. Yeah, I think that's that's it. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, man. New skill, kick teammate with Grack and Crambleberry. Yeah. That's crazy. A 5-3, uh, sorry, five five three nine. 3 9 uh, bonehead kick teammate, Mighty Blow Thick Skull, and comes with a 5 2 3 6 dodge right stuff, stunty short hands. Uh, and yeah, the throw teammate for any team. Mm, right, well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.